Hello and welcome to a new video and a get ready with me. I like doing get ready with me. You seem to like them. A little bit. Um, you seem to like them, so I was like, eh, what the hell? So I am testing out some new products today, or one new product and one new sponge. <laughs> so. I think I'm just going to start doing my makeup and we will see where this is going. I'm going to test out new eyeshadows and I first thought that I was going to do a first impression but then I was like I want to do a good red with me as well so I am doing a good red with me with these and I'm going to test out the Love Six stack from Melt. I bought this off Beauty Bay and they had a sale a couple of weeks back and then I bought this because I have talked about this before that I want to buy it and it was like I think they cost 460 Swedish crowns and then it was like 380 crowns so I was just hell yeah I'm buying this so it's a four, four stack so it is a purple shimmer that is called promiscuous and then a matte grey that is called fixated this I don't know if it's is a duochrome but it's like a peachy gold thing and that is Emily Amelie and then the last one the matte dark burgundy red is lovesick so I'm going to do a look with these four colors and I will use all of them I think <laughs> I hope so yeah and I'm going to drink some Pepsi I have bought cans I usually don't do it but it was like a super good deal on them and if you didn't know this about me Pepsi Max is my only addiction in life and it's a big addiction but like it's not going to kill me so if I don't drown But to drown in Pepsi, Pe Pepsi Max, it's called in Swedish, it would be a good death. So I really don't know what to share about. So I don't know if like this get ready with me is a good choice. But here I am. And I want to say hello to all of my new followers. I'm steady going up. And that is so fun. Slow and steady. And I was like, I am always, okay, not always, I don't care about how much subscribers I have, but I have always like to hit 500. That would be so cool. And like a year ago, in the end of last year, I was like, oh, I want to hit 500 in 2019. And I actually did it in December around Christmas last year. So that was so cool. And now it would be awesome to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. So I can have that freaking community tab. I don't care if it's happened, I will be glad if it does happen, but if it don't, I don't really care. So, okay, I think I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to take this lovesick and a big fluffy brush. And we will see how this is. I will take it out here. Oh, this was really dark. But I like it. I want to like take it off my crease as well. Okay, and one thing about melt, I have the radioactive stack. I like this and you can put them on. You can like put them on top of each other. I really like that. But it's so strange to like only holding one shadow. What happened here? But yeah. I like it, but it's a little bit unusual for me 
like I don't know if I maybe can take a big fluffy brush and have it in my crease. Okay, I don't know what if okay now I like blended them all away. bit strange. What's happening Melt? And I have, now when I'm filming this, this is Saturday and I am going on a day. I work Monday and then I am on my, my vacation starts after I go home from work on Monday and I am so looking forward to this. This week I think I have worked 50 hours and I am so freaking exhausted. It was a hard week on work. We are usually two people that do my work, but the other one, she was on vacation last week or this week. So I was alone. So yeah. But then I'm glad that it's summer in Sweden because then it's the sun is up until like 9 p.m. So yeah, that's the only thing I like, like working late on the summer. Because if you didn't know that, in when it's winter in Sweden, the sun goes down like 2 o'clock p.m. So it's super dark when I go to work and it's super dark when I get home, but in the summer it's light like the whole time. That's the only thing I like about summer because I hate warm weather. I think I've said it before. It feels like this is a little bit patchy. But I really like the color, but it is a little bit patchy. But I have said this in another video, I really don't know about this one because it's running super low and I don't know if it has gone bad or not, but it may be my eyeshadow primer. But it's like strange here. I don't get it. Okay, I will test on the other eye to take this blending brush first. Yeah, so to my vacation. I am off for three and a half weeks and I don't really know what to do on my vacation. My mom and one of my brothers, we are going to Prague, 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 Prague. Prague, Prague. Uh, <laughs> okay, in school in Sweden you don't learn all the cities in Europe in English, just to know, so I'm not stupid, I just don't know the name of, but I think it's Prague. Prague, Prague. Um, and we are going to be there like four days and it's going to be so fun and then I don't know what to do. Me and my boyfriend, we are thinking to go to Copenhagen for some days. Sleep at a hotel. Because in at Christmas we got a hotel night in for present. Like a gift card for a night at a hotel. And it's valid in Copenhagen, so we are thinking about going to Copenhagen. Other than that, I don't really know. Because if you don't know this, we are saving up to buy a house. Hopefully this year, so we was like, no big spending vacation this year. But I don't care that much. Because I'm going to that place with my mom and my brother so yeah and I don't know how my videos will come up when I am on vacation I will see how much I can pre-film before I go to my mother because I'm going to be there a little more than a week 
so I am not going to record any videos because I'm not taking all the studio lights and everything so and I want to spend time with my mother I don't really know about this shade if I'm going to be honest feed looks a little bit better on this eye so it's maybe was that my eyeshade where I just had to sit for a little while I don't know but it's a little bit patchy here it looks so much better on this eye so maybe it was like my eyeshade primer didn't have the time to stick I want to take this color Amelie and I think I want to swatch this just to see how it looks good I will put it in here no this isn't even are you doing something special this summer or don't you have any vacation or what are you doing okay and one other thing I can tell you about if you don't follow me on Instagram um, do it but I had like this voting thing and asked if you shave your face and it was very the most didn't but very many of you just follows me do so I did it and I don't know if you didn't know, I don't know how visible it is in my videos, but I have so much fuss in my face. So, so much. I am really hairy. <laughs> if you want to know, like, my arms and my legs and my feet. Um, but I am so light, so it doesn't show up. Like, my face fuss, you can, like, see down here in the camera. Um... So I am very hairy and I I have never felt bad about it. I have never been ashamed about it. I am just a hairy person. And that's just how life is. But I like... Okay, I'm going to try to shave my face. If you didn't know this either, I got like a unibrow because I'm like hairy in my whole face so like my forehead and here so I got almost like a unibrow but it doesn't show because it's so light hair but I usually shave it here and uh, yes I was like okay I'm even going to try to shave my face just to see because everybody says that your foundation lies so good when you have shaved face and one thing that really have bothered me with having a hairy face is the powder is getting stuck to all like my cheeks shin cheeks um, it's stuck in the hair and I don't like the look of it I'm not ashamed about it but it's just like I'm not digging the look but I'm digging this shadow this was such a nice shadow okay so <laughs> like five minutes and I'm talking about shaving face so I was like, fuck this, I'm trying to shave my face, and I liked it, I think. I was so smooth, and the foundation laid so good, and now it was like nine days. And it has come out a little bit, but like, it's not that visible. So... Yeah, I'm maybe going to keep shaving my face. I don't know. And also, I have read that some say it's... If you don't want wrinkles in your face, shave your face. Because it's taking away all the dead skin cells. Very effective. And... Like... stimulates the skin 
to not grow cellular renew I don't know um, but it like stimulates the face I don't know if that's true nobody like seem to know that it's true but some like yeah but women have more wrinkles than men and it's because men shave and I was like yeah maybe that's true so I may be going to start to shave my face I don't know. It felt like I didn't need so many, so much of my skin products because when I. Okay, maybe I should put a disclaimer in the beginning of this video. If, if you don't like facial hair, don't watch this. But like when I put on my night cream or my day cream, I have to like stroke my face like this so the hairs lie down if I do like this when I put on my cream I have to do like this so the hair will lay down so maybe I am a shaver now I haven't decided yet um, but I, the makeup is lying so much better not going to argue about that but yeah we will see and I am one of these persons like I like to you know like if you're going to do something special like put on a facial mask and like do a whole long skin routine and then fix your hair for half an hour and everything like that and you feel like I look so freaking good right now. I love to do that but I also hate to put the time and effort in it. It's like the same with clothes. I just want to put on something and it looks super good but it don't because you have to make an effort. I love when I do it, but I hate to do it. I hope you know what I mean. So I'm like, I'm going to shave my face like once a week or once like 10 days. I don't want to do that, but like, if I like it, just do it. It takes like two minutes or something. But I am that kind of person. I like never fix my hair. And then I am so pissed off my hair because it looks so boring. But I don't know what to expect when I don't fix it. I am like that with everything. I hope you get what I mean and I hope that some of you are the same. Okay, this eye looks so much better than this eye. But I think I want this eye a little bit darker. Okay, so I think something like that. I will go and take away the fallouts. Wet. The I can show you. I bought two new sponges. I bought one sponge that I have tried before. It's a normal like makeup sponge. But then I bought this microfiber makeup sponge. Because I was like maybe if I hate this I want to have a backup if I hate this one. So I bought this like microfiber and I'm like how is this going to be? So I'm going to go and wet this and we will feels a little bit strange. I will go and wet this and then we will put on the base makeup and see what this is going for. But this is how it look now. This is unwet microfiber sponge. <laughs> this is a dry microfiber sponge. Okay so it is a little bit bigger and it's smoother but I'm still afraid of this but we will we will cry. It feels good. I have also spritzed my face with. I used a Smashbox. A uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I bought this last year and my other primer. Okay, I have another primer that I loved so so much. But it's. It is made by a shading, lying brand so I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to promote them on my channel anymore. So I opened this instead. I like the cheaper one that I had before better than this. This is okay but yeah. if you like spritzing things on your face go for it. It's not amazing and uh, yeah. This isn't supposed to be like a review thing. And for foundation I use my blur foundation from Lumiere. 
it's a Finnish brand and but this is too dark for me they have a lighter shade but does it that has the wrong undertone so I have to take this and I use the costume drops from H&M I really like those drops so if you have a pale face or if you have a dark complexion they have darkening drops as well I I can only speak for these lightening drops but I I like them they doesn't change I got eyeshadow left on my hand it does it little they doesn't change the a texture of your foundation. People said that this velvety microfiber sponges are going to take up less a project product than normal sponge. And for my mixing I take like this. And one other thing I hate about summer is I am this pale all year round because I don't get a tan, I get sunburned and then I am pink for a while or red. It depends how much I get burned. And then I go back to being this pale again. And the people are very like... Are you feeling good? You look super pale. And I'm like, yeah, I look this all year round. Okay, let's see what this microfiber sponge is going for. Yes, like a normal sponge, maybe a little bit louder, like this. But other than that, no. And people often ask me around summer, like, are you feeling well? You look a little bit pale. And I'm like, it's not me that change. I look the same all year round, it's you that get a tan, but I like can't. And I have always been this sensitive to the sun. It's me. Okay. I don't know if I like this sponge that much. Either it's me or I want to press it hard on my face, but... It's like very... I really have to dot because if you dot and drag, it feels... Um, yeah, about getting tanned. <laughs> my, one of my brothers and my mother, they like got tanned like this. They go out in the sun for like 10 minutes and super healthy, glowing tan. Me, my father and my half-brother, we are like going out and red. So, yeah, my brother took it all. He took all the pigments. And we are not like me and my brother. Okay. I have two older brothers. One that is my half-brother that is... My father's son with another woman and then my brother that is four years older than me that is my... We have the same mother. Mo mother and father. And we are not alike. I'm not alike any of my brothers. Me and my father though is pretty like... It's super fun to be... To look like your father. Um, but my... Okay, I'm going to say my brother when I mean my brother. That is from... Uh, that is like my 100% complete brother, if you get what I mean. We are not alike. He is like... Two heads higher than me. And he got brown hair and he is getting tanned and uh, everything so we don't look like at all it's it's not a bad sponge but I I'm not blown away I feel it like is like any other sponges and it is a little bit stiff 
Now, you have to have in mind that I bought like the cheap one because uh, I am not a snob when it comes to sponges, so I was like, I'm going to buy the cheap one. And I have a little foundation over, so maybe this didn't took as much foundation as my other sponge does, so that's good. And I am so sorry for all the talking in this video, I really hope some of you will stay. Maybe you can do something else during this like do the dishes or something it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit this and to put it up okay and then we're going in with conceal her huh? um where was i did i talk about anything else then i am not me and my brother do not look like This concealer, it's so little left. I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's down to here. And I uh, have panic about this. I love this concealer so, so much. First, I thought it was like going out of stock because it's no more anywhere. But then I actually DM'd the company to do this concealer and they was like, it's coming back. And I was like... Yeah, but when? Because I am running low. And I think... Okay. Doesn't... It wasn't good to have underneath my eyes. It feels like I am messing up. I color off my concealer. I didn't like it to put on concealer at all but I can't get why it shouldn't be good to put on concealer but it is not um I have found the concealer in some other shades but not in the shade I need okay I don't I do not like this underneath my eyes I don't know what's up with it but it's it doesn't it looks strange. It doesn't look like it usually do. I don't know what's up with that. Is it the microfibers that does it? Then I shut my concealer. And I used the RCMA powder for this. But I can't have too much because then I look all white underneath. So I have just to... Do like that. And for my face... Okay, I'm doing cream contour today. For my face I'm taking this uh, Lumina powder. This was supposed to be Get Ready With Me, not like a movie. Um, um, um. <laughs> but I think sometimes I maybe should like do the whole makeup. Yeah, this is my new way to put on powder on my face. First, I just take some on this, shake it up, put it on, and then I go in with my powder brush just to dispense it all over my face. And I think this works pretty good. It doesn't get too much powder. But it get like enough powder. So yeah. And powder is on and now I think we go in with eyebrows. First when I like started to watch YouTube before I did my own videos, people always skipped the brows and I was like, why do you do that? But I really get why people do that because you have to be Concentrated with doing your brows so you can't speak when you do them, so it's pointless to watch. So I going to fix my bare little brows off cam. Then we can do the rest of my face together and the rest of the eyeshadow, of course. And I will fix my brows and try to come up with something to talk about. Okay, so for a blush. 
first I was like, I'm going to take this in stain blush, but then I'm like, yeah, no, I have a pretty dark look. So maybe something a little bit darker. So I think I'm going in with this from the Linda Holberg Infinite Palette. This is Andromeda. I feel like it can go good with the layer shade. But what am I doing? I never start with my blush. And it feels like contour is going to be so much easier now. When I have shaded a little bit of my facial hair. <laughs> I sound like I have some big troubles, but I have like my hair here. I was very hairy here, so sometimes my contour just get stuck on the hair and looked super uneven and I I hate to do contour in videos because it feels like I'm doing it all wrong I am so proud of you that is going to be with me this whole video because it feels like at the longest Get ready with me, I have ever done. <laughs> but sometimes I just feel like it has been a long time since I just sat down and talked to you. Or maybe it hasn't, but I felt like that because I haven't recorded any video this week because it has been so much at work. So I just wanted to sit down, chat a lot and just hang out with you. So for my highlight I'm going to use Lunch Money by Colourpop. Everybody just rave about Flexitarian, but this one is also amazing. This is warmer than the Flexitarian. I really love it. And if you want a good brush for Colourpop's or the Super Shock, use the Sigma brush because this picks up these so good. It picks it up like a normal highlighter brush picks up a normal highlighter if you get what I mean. And I will do my under eyes and then spray my face because if it's going to be in fallout it's easier to take them away before I spray my face. So for my under eyes, okay, I think I have to swatch these. I have these two left. I want to see how they swatch. Okay, so this is the grey one, of course, and this is the purple one. Oh, a little bit of shimmer. So I think I will, I will take the grey and I oh know, <laughs> I think I got catch hair in my nose and my ear is itching. I think I will take the grey, but it feels like it's a pretty light grey. But okay, we will try it. And I want to take the purple one, spray it and then taking it in here. I don't know about this. I will take the... The one, the light one I have here. Take it on a brush that is too big, but I don't want to take in that brush and just put it in here and like a little bit over the yellow. Yellow the purple. Okay, I think it'll look a little bit strange, but it's a little bit late to fix this, so we just have to go with strange. I don't really know what I think. I don't like the under. The thing under my eyes, but it's a little bit changed my mind about that now. So I'm going to put on some mascara and something in my waterline. I don't think you have to see that, so I will do that and then we can choose a lippy together. But I think I know what I want to go with for a lippy, so I'll fix mascara and something in my waterline and then I will be back. Okay, so setting spray. A mascara and uh, depending on my waterline I took piggy bank from Colourpop the purple one and I like this look more now for my lips I have two choices 
One is Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star and the other one is Narcotic from Nabla and this is like a dark dark blue, almost a black but it's not black and I think maybe this one, oh this one. I wanted to maybe take a red because it's lovesick and this like burgundy purpley red thingy <sighs> that is the lovesick shade so I thought this one uh, but maybe this would be cool I think I'll try this the only thing if if I put this on and it turns to uh, not looking good I'm screwed One thing I don't get, I like must have put on liquid lipstick for like 500 times, more than 500 times in my life. I'm not skilled at it, but at the same time I could just use a lip liner, it would make it so much easier, but like, I don't have the time for that, so I think that this was maybe a good choice. I don't know where to put it, I have so freaking much stuff. I think it was a good choice, uh, maybe. My lips are just so unsymmetrical. <laughs> so this was my longest get ready with me ever, I feel. Um, what do I think about the products? I like the melt stack, maybe I don't think this shade was so fun, but like this shade, love it, even though it's a little uneven here, but this eye is better, and this, it was so good, such a good shade, really like it, and this thing, this thing, this, I feel like you could do an amazing, like, dark halo eye with this, or dark cut crease or something with this, so I am glad that I finally have this, and the sponge, I don't really know. It made something strange with my concealer. I can't understand like what went wrong, but something... It doesn't look like it used to do. And the only thing that is not like it used to do be is the sponge. So I don't know what the sponge did. So this is my get ready with me. I don't know if it came to any conclusions about anything. I hope you like this. I don't do so many long videos anymore and before like all my videos were long because I like to watch long videos and yeah, I just wanted to sit down and talk and regarding the summer I don't know how many videos it will be. Maybe one week it will be no videos, I have to see how much I can pre-record pre what I will do or yeah. But if it doesn't come up any videos, it is because I am enjoying my vacation, <laughs> just you know. So I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!